Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SSR is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for August 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects, I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and best tools and systems. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. And there's 4 days left on this humble bundle, lots of strange monsters, a bunch of spells, some fire and smoke, even a horse controller and a bunch more interesting stuff. It also has a 10% off coupon, so just in case you want to buy something on the store that is 10 times the bundle price, then essentially the bundle comes out free. Alright, so starting off with a gorgeous stylized farm pack, this one looks really great. If you want something nice and charming, but not low poly, then this style is perfect. This one is a huge pack, features over 2000 prefabs, everything from modular buildings, animals, characters and tons of plants. This would be the perfect pack if you'd like to make a quick farming minigame. Or maybe you're working on something a bit more hardcore, if so here's a really nice katana animation pack. Great animations, they are stylish but not too outlandish, features some simple slashes and some really impressive moves, it's also even got air attacks. So you could use this for something more grounded like Ghost of Tsushima, or maybe something inspired by Devil May Cry. And if you have katana animations, you need some samurai visual, here's a great looking one. Super high resolution, extremely high quality character. This one could really be taken straight from Ghost of Tsushima. The character also has 80 blend shapes on the face, so you can make some expressions, or even use it in some real time AR apps. Next here's a pack with a ton of gorgeous skyboxes with environments. This is a great way to make your game look so much better with very little effort. Just add a gorgeous skybox, and these also come with some environment images, so just with this one and your world will immediately look great. Or maybe you need some hyper-realistic explosions, if so check out this one. These are Alembic explosions which makes them look really extremely smooth. The smoke looks a little bit too thick, but the fireballs do look perfect. This is all based on vertex colors, so it uses no textures. These also react to lighting, although they will not interact with physics objects. Then here's a fun one, a ton of cartoony emoticons. These can be used in either 2D or 3D. This style looks really nice, nice depth effect in some of those. There are some cartoony explosions, lots of emotions, thought bubbles and various icons. Then for something more serious, here is a fantasy castle environment. It's got a very, very realistic style, these are some really high end meshes and props. I have no idea what you'd call the style, is this gothic or something? Either way, it looks taken straight from something like Dark Souls or Elden Ring. If instead you need some 2D, here is an isometric pixel art character. It looks really nice, every angle is included. The sprites are very clearly 3D meshes that were processed with a pixel shader, so that makes for an interesting look. This pack has 5 characters, each with some nice variations and animations. Then here's a fun one, it's a stunt car racing pack. Definitely a very unique asset. This would be perfect if you're making a car game inspired by something like Trackmania or Hot Wheels. It's got some loops, some jumps and side bends. Really a very unique pack. Then for some tune animations, check out this one. It's amazing how animations can also have a tune style, but yep that is correct, they do look clearly very very toony. Honestly looking at this one makes me want to replace the regular animations that I'm using in my upcoming Steam game Dink Guardians. These look a lot more cartoony which would fit the game perfectly. Looking at the animations applied to tune characters does look really nice. Then if you need a stylized modular character, here's one. It features a male and female body types. It's a regular humanoid rig, so works with any animations. It's got multiple eye shapes, multiple hairstyles, full outfits, shirts and pants. So I could see this one being perfect for making something like a Sims game. If you want something more near futuristic, here is a ton of props and a cyberpunk character. It looks very flashy, very stylized, it's futuristic but not too far in the future. It includes a nice character on a really interesting hoverboard. Then for something more in the past, here is a Wild West modular pack. It's a realistic style, looks really nice. Looking at this one makes me want to build something inspired by Red Dead. It's got lots of modular building parts, signs and props, so you can really make your own really nice western village. Then for something scary and cute, here is a little ghost. It's a really nice style, spooky but casual, perfect for a game inspired by Casper or something like that. It includes lots of colors for some very nice variation and even some fun hats. Also comes with 12 animations, so really nice pack. Next for something realistic and hardcore, here is a fantasy medieval arena and dungeon. Right away it obviously makes me want to do some kind of gladiator management game. Something where you build a dungeon with various buildings to train your gladiators. 
Then send them out to fight in the arena against all kinds of foes. It features tons of props and prefabs, lots of structures, doors, traps and puzzles. Also apparently this one includes multiple environments, including a steampunk one. Then here's a really fun one, it's a Mario style environment. It definitely fits that description. Looking at it for half a second you can only tell this was inspired by Mario. So if you'd like to make something that is indeed inspired by the same style as Mario then this would fit perfectly. Great for making any kind of 3D platformer. This one includes tons of objects and props and even includes a demo with working gameplay. Or maybe your game has some junkyard, here's a nice pack. It's a low poly style with lots of cars being crushed. So right away this reminds me of Gone in 60 Seconds, really great movie. You've got tons of assets, over 200 of them. Lots of items, cars, buildings and props. Then for something a lot more sci-fi, here is an alien planet. It looks really excellent, very alien-like. It's got lots of weird vegetation, some weird trees and a great looking sci-fi sky. It even includes some particles for water and rain. Next here is a nice pack with a ton of tavern assets. Looking at this, the obvious thing to do would be some kind of tavern management game. Or if you're making something like Skyrim, then this could be a great environment to talk to some NPCs and pick up quests. And if you're working in VR, here is a UI pack. It includes all sorts of toggles, buttons and sliders. It's not just visuals, but the logic as well. So this could be useful to quickly get the VR prototype up and running quickly. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity Asset Store for August 23. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid ass on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.